Hi, good morning. We, um, I've had a few messages come in this morning and last night asking me how do I pick the method I'm about to shoot? So I thought I'd just jump on quickly and try and explain it. Now, this is simply how I decide I'm going to shoot my particular methods. So it's very, very simple process for me to understand. Um, and there are reasons why I pick the method. And I, if I put it down very simply, So under two feet of visual lead, I'm going to use swing through. Above two feet of positive lead, I'm going to use pull away. If it falls dead on two feet, then it's completely my choice. There'll be other things, i.e. speed, etc., that come into play. So what I'm gonna be looking for, and the reason I use these particular rules are quite simple. With the power that I have in my body, when I initiate my pull away, when I start my move, the very next time I can see a very clear and precise lead is around the two feet area. So the first time I put the hammer down and pull away, I'm already at two feet. So let's say, for instance, that's a two foot space. I really struggle to control this area with pull away because I like to be visual. I like to see what I'm doing to be able to repeat it or to change it. So if I then go to swing through, I can come through the target and control this important area right here. Okay. And for me, that really is how I decide. If I want more than two feet, I don't want, say, two feet of negative, because then I've got to go two foot all the way back to neutral, all the way out to whatever my positive lead is. This number here does change with eyesight and power. If you've got somebody with good eyes and a weaker body movement, they might be able to control up to a foot. But when I, en when I energize the gun, this is my next clear visual picture. Now remember, I shoot visual, I don't shoot with feelings. I see every gap that I want to see. This simply here for me is uncontrollable for me with the pull away method. So this rule here is how I dictate my method. If the lead falls, at dead on two feet, then the things that will dictate whether I'm gonna choose one or the other would either be the line or the speed. So if it was quite a quick bird that was close, that wanted two feet, I would probably shoot pull away again because I'm not gonna have time to collapse down the negative space to get any form of positive space. If it was a little bit further, say doing a curl, and it wants two feet here, I might then drop into my negative lead and then with very slow hands, transfer negative to positive. So when I'm on my two foot limit, what would dictate what I'm about to shoot would simply be how much time I have to make my decision. So it is very basic, I like to keep things basic, but for me, the biggest word that's misused in shooting is this all of my leads want to be visual not a feeling hence i cannot control those shorter leads so that's my system i hope you enjoyed that i hope it helps you out stay safe keep shooting mm -hmm.